A new shipment of coal had arrived on the island. It seemed fine to begin with, but as the new coal replaced the old, the problems quickly began to take hold. Bigger engines like Gordon and Henry didn't have much trouble, but for smaller engines like James and Edward, it caused poor steaming. Things got so bad that engines had to be left in the shed if they couldn't get their fires going. Gordon felt sorry for them at first, but he soon frowned he had to take others' trains as well as his own. This made him cross. You're just lazy, you know, Gordon said one morning. No, I'm not. <coughs> I can't help it if the coal is bad. I had no problem with it. I carry on day after day, and what do I get for being reliable? I am given your goods. <laughs> no rest for the wicked. Oh, you get all the rest you want, but I'm here doing the real work. James was about to retort, but he suddenly sneezed and blew soot out of his funnel, with most of it landing on Gordon. Gordon seized under his breath and quickly left the yards to avoid attention. That day, the big engine had to take a slow goods train. He sulked all the way and was difficult to move as he shunted the trucks onto his train. The big blue engine was catching his breath in a siding ready to climb the hill himself when a shout came from the signal box. Edwards dropped his fire bars, cried the signalman. You'll have to bring him the rest of the way. Now, 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 look here, you know. I am not a rescue engine. He refused to move. His crew argued with him fiercely and the signalman joined in too. All right, all right. Golly. Gordon at last grumbled and gave in and set off. He found Edward at the junction to his branch line. The little blue engine was red in the face and very embarrassed, but he felt better when he saw Gordon. I really am very sorry about all of this. <coughs> This new coal is causing all sorts of havoc. Gordon didn't say anything. He was fed up with this new coal and quickly moved the train to the station. The two arrived at the platform and Edward smiled. Thank you again for this. Don't mention it, Gordon grunted. Well, Edward started, I should mention that this train needs to get to the big station. Gordon looked at Edward, then looked at his buffers, and finally heaved a long sigh. <sighs> Fine. Gordon moved Edward off the train and into the siding. There was no time for him to turn around, so he set off for the big station, tender first. The big engine was careful not to travel too quickly in his current position and was very anxious when he arrived 10 minutes late at the other end of the line. As the passengers got out of the coaches, Gordon began pondering to himself, hmm. What's so important about this train anyway? But his thoughts were cut off prematurely. Where are your trucks, Gordon? He was startled to see the fat controller walking up to him. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I know you said for me to only take good, sir, but, but I... Gordon was quickly interrupted as one of his passengers stepped out and walked towards the fat controller. It was Lady Hat. Well, without Gordon, I would have been delayed for much, much longer, dear. Gordon did put up a little bit of a fuss, dear, but he put that aside to bring the passengers home. And he did it running backwards. And I know you're always saying that isn't proper. Well, Gordon, 
I must apologise. And thank you for rescuing this train. And, uh, bringing my lovely wife home. Well done. Gordon gave a small smile. However, I do not approve of your complaints. Since the other engines are still in some difficulties, I would like you to stay on good trains. Hopefully we can come to rely on your great strength until this situation has resolved itself. Just so, said Gordon mournfully. As Gordon trundled back to his waiting trucks, he realised something. If the fat controller is indeed relying on me, then I have a duty of care to not let him down. I'm still useful after all. And so Gordon puffed away with a smile. I think it was very wise of him to realise that helping his friends is far more important than being stuck on goods trains. <laughs>